Hello everyone, welcome back to um, a new um, session of um, Let's Play Resident Evil 2. This time we'll be taking on Leon's side, so let's go. Resident Evil 2. Okay, we're going to be loading a little game here. And we are going to be selecting Leon B. I changed the discs over and I'm going to skip part of them opening because the rest of it's the same, it's just the front bit that's different, so let's watch. In the midst of the T-Virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Claire Redfield succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors. A young girl named Sherry. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department, Leon S. Kennedy. What have we got here? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. At the same time, at the same place. You have to survive this nightmare. To know the two end. Yeah, the rest of that plays out as normal. There might be some slight differences, but nothing like to remind you of like anything like that. Anyway. Oh. Yeah, this um, scenario is a little bit trickier than um, than the um, A scenario. See, you like doing the stuff that you did on the A scenario, but for the other person. So let us go up here and avoid that zombie. And uh, I'm not quite sure. Right, like, this is a cabin key. So let's collect that. Bad waiting for Yeah, this is outside the um, back entrance of the, um, of the station. There's a cabin key there and we can again access. <coughs> okay, if things look familiar, they should because we are inside the um, cabin where we got the valve handle in the first scenario. So, let us collect the ink ribbon. <coughs> And the um, handgun bullets, and 
let us go through. <coughs> I have no idea what the point of that is. Is like you just got no idea where the um, where they're coming from or anything like that. So I really have not got a clue to what the point of that actual noise special effect is. Okay, back to that hook to kick them out of the way first. I really do not want to get eaten by the gun. No, oh, in the wrong place is a fucking hell. That's okay. So that's how the helicopter crashed, so Leon was a witness to that. And now we got to pop the um, fire out. It is weird because um, Claire has to do the same thing. I don't know how that works, but okay. Okay, there's a herb here, so let's just randomly pick it up. But now Leon has got a automatically um, automatic a personal item is the lighter so now we can open things but the only downside is he hasn't got a lock pick like Claire has so now so it's Kim so now you need to find special keys let's go for him in order to unlock the drawers and that one is very important because like, one actually contains um, some custom parts because on Leon's one you can upgrade all of your weapons. It's a new, a new gimmick that they released to the game. So, without further ado, examine this body for a more bullets. And let's come here for the valve handle. <coughs> also, we might as well explore this room a little bit um, to get some stuff and that. Collect another ink ribbon so it brings up to four. Let's shoot more. I don't know how I hit that one. I really do not know how I managed to hit that one. Because I was aiming in the complete opposite direction. Um, so let's collect that. And let's go here. It's the same. Two, two, three. Six. This time you'll get some shotgun shells um, for your shotgun, but we don't have that yet. And the police station map. Now, what I'm gonna do to make it better on my end, I'm actually going to. Um, I'm actually going to um, do the game with normal weapons, only using in infinite the infinite weapons judging if it carries over um, for like the um, bosses and that and there will be a sub boss 
in this scenario. <clears throat> so guess what? I'll be going to get the rocket launcher right now because I really hate taking on this sub boss with the normal with the normal weapons because for some reason I always end up unloading the um his liquors in here now. Unloading the um handgun facing all of my bullets on him. But now I've got this it is not a problem and now we've got more um stuff and here we go more stuff there's a diary on the table and there's a small key on here if I can pick it up so let's grab a small key and now let us go oh yes excellent okay so let us put away this and the small key for a sec bring out our rocket launcher Okay, yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, put away the knife because the knife is shit and everyone knows that. And let's put away the magnum ammunition. Okay, so now we can put out the fire, which is very early in the game. <coughs> and see what we can find there. So really compliment accomplishing accomplishing quite a bit on this um Playthrough so far, I find it really nice. Okay, so let's avoid dealing with these little critters. These are easy to avoid, but don't worry, they will be destroyed in a second or in a minute or so. Not even 12 minutes, and we've just done away. I wasn't expecting this, but like I said. Because this is not a cheap game, I will be using ink ribbons, and this is not chapter based. So let's turn this, <coughs> and it will be the oil of water comes out, and it um, puts it out. So, how the hell does, like, was it, what does it catch fire again? So, no, no, Leon witnessed this first, didn't he? Um, yeah, no, it must like spark up again and like clear to do it, but there must be a oh someone pots another valve handle there when the zombie slips it slips out of one of the zombies back pockets, doesn't it? Yeah, we uh we uh, heard all that happening. Alright, some more shotty rounds. I really wish this game had a, f a um hundred and eighty degree turn, but you can't be lucky. Hey guys, guess who that guy is? That is going to be our sub boss. <clears throat> if we're quiet. That will happen and destroy it, so I don't know how clear it comes out of there. Yep. We have noises. Mr. Tywin or the T. Tywin. He's blown in the face if I'm walking along, he'll die anyway. Um, this is very handy because it works a lot like Nemesis, which means you can pick up stuff from it. Handgun bullets this time. He's going to be your personal stalker, and also he's done a very handy job on getting middle of crows. So that is very handy. As you can see, he gets up, which means he's going to be a pain, and we all know that. Uh, okay, uh, let's go. Okay, was that the only one here? There we go, there's two here. Fair enough. 
Okay, slip into here. <coughs> now, I know we haven't got the jewels yet, but it's very important that you come in here um, first because one is an ink coming in here. So it ain't so far, and we ain't even saved yet. Okay, so if we continue here, we can find that there's a blue key card here, which will allow us to unlock the doors. Will we get something? Yes. <laughs> Blow the shit out of it. We haven't got the shotgun yet, so it's pointless taking it out of a handgun. Um, so I'm actually going to go back to the waiting room and save. Now then, we need to wait because we cannot come back here for some time. Well, until the basement, perhaps, because we need to get a radio transmission through first. So what I'm going to do, go back into the box. Put the um, this away. Put this away. And bring out that. <clears throat> okay. We equip that. Combine that. And we are ready to go. So what we'll do now is we will save at the typewriter. <clears throat> and next time when we visit Evil 2, Leon's side, we will be using the keycard on the um, on the computer downstairs and exploring the police station. So, until then, see you guys.